Hi guys, what's going on? It's Ninjax here, back back from vacation with another game from the World Cup. Okay, now this time I'm doing the finals game in XY slash or after or whatever you want to call it, game between the US East, the Ender, and uh, Spain Solon. So um yeah, I'm doing this by replay again. I'm kind I'm, I'm actually pretty sorry about this, but yeah, I wasn't present to the actual game, so I still want to get this out just because I like my channel needs content and whatnot. So um, I figured, why not? Eventually, I think I think like up in the upcoming Small Gun Tour or Grand Slam, what I'll start actually recording games live and posting them. And also, actually, I forgot the other edge of this thing is that you can also you can get through games at least faster. You don't have to wait for people to make turns. But then again, you don't really get the chance to talk with my channel closet. But also, I'm all I'm back home. I've and. Yeah, since I'm operating it's like on my home internet, I don't think this will be as laggy as it was last time, and if it was, well, I don't think this video will ever see the light of day then. But anyways, let's get right to it, let's go, and, um, yep. So, I think both players are bringing solid builds here. The Ender's got, he's got some pretty strong cores, he's got, um, Megalopony and Bisharp. It's a really strong offensive score, wrecks a lot of teams. He's got Thunderous, which is probably going to be a mixed offensive barrier, a nasty plot. Something we can force a lot of momentum. And you've got Manaphy as another stall breaker. Um, Latios is probably going to be the team's defogger because Thunderous needs Rock to move to play safely. And um, pretty much every, a lot of other things appreciate it too. But Latios is probably going to be like a life orb defogger with Draco Meteor, Static Shock, Filler Move. And lastly is Landorus T, which I would usually say is a scarf upon this team. He doesn't have a rocker, so that means Landorus is probably going to be an offensive stealth rocker. And um, over to Soulwind. Um, Soulwind's got he's got some pretty strong teams. He's got the omnipresent sand core of Pippo Don plus X Kadrill. It's a good core. X Pippo Rex Pippo. And both of them really well, own offense because X can run through a late game while Hippo just really walls a lot of offensive bonds. Uh, Tornado C helps him out by. Checking some special attackers like Gengar, Keldeo, etc. Then the offensive side of the team is uh, Purim Black, Mega Gardevoir, Manaphy. It's a pretty strong core. It's like, I think those three are probably going to be the ones meant to wreck balance teams. Actually, though, again, yeah, speaking of that, the Ender does not have a steel type besides Bishop, which means he's going to be very weak to Mega Gardevoir unless he plays smart and get. Because most of this team does outspeed Mega Guard. I think a Thundurus and a Megalopony outspeed Mega Guard of War, so he's going to have to put those in and get clutch with them if he, want, if he wants to win out this game. And, uh, anyways, let's get to it. So, um, the Ender leads off with uh, Thundurus, and Solon leads off with the Paladon. Uh, the Ender immediately doubles into Landorus T. Um, and Solon goes into Excadrill. Okay, this is an interesting play. It's definitely going to the Ender's favor, though. I think, like, a Solon was paranoid of him bringing in something like Mana Fee, but then again, not sure if he was going to attack either, so he went to Excadrill, which is... It's a safe switch both... Safe-ish switch both ways. Because, well... Because, it pre because again, you force Mana Fee out, because it's not very bulky. It's unboosted. It's about to get demolished. But at the same time, Thundurus doesn't really want anything to do with, like, with us people understand either. But the Ender's gone into Landorus T, this is huge. Because Landorus T, utter, at least, like, if it's, like, even if it's got, like, a little bulk investment, it's, your x is still not one-shotting it right off the bat. And it's, again, facing the risk of the KO, so Solon's gonna have to go out. I imagine the Ender will probably either go for U-turn to scout or just for rock straight up. Because he doesn't know what's being brought in. And, um, yeah, so one's brought back in. And, uh, the Ender goes for Rock. Oh, he grabs his sword stance. That's, that's huge. So he's obviously going to be, so this is obviously probably going to be another breaker. It's probably the SD self SR set I saw go around a little while. It's like, it kind of combines, like, supporting and wall breaking. It's kind of similar to, like, Garchomp, offensive Garchomp in this tier. But it's got its own niches and, like, a higher... It's actually no, it's a lower speed, but it's got intimidate. It's got a couple of other things going for it, which is nice. And um, yeah, I think Pipaldon is about to see the hurt. Yeah, that's the hurt. That is the hurt. 
It both takes about 60%, but phases out Landorus T before it can begin more damage. Thunderous comes in. So I think um, Hippo is probably going to try and go for a health. And, uh, okay, Thunderous Nasty Plot. This is probably going to be a really effective core. Thunderous plus Landorus T can both take ridiculously heat. Both boost up as I just start flubbing things. But um, Hippo's back to about full right here. And, um... Thunderous goes for an HP Ice. Doesn't have Grass Knot, which is okay, I guess, on Nasty Plus. That's because you get better coverage and you still do, like, so much to Hippo. But, um, again, Hippo goes for the Whirlwind. He removes it, and, um, he goes into T. He go and the Ender goes into TDK. Sorry, 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 Gladios. Sorry. Nickname's Boom for a sec. Anyway, so, um, I think Solon's probably going to double into Mega Gardevoir here. Mega Gardevoir is the best Gladios switch in. And team, probably one of the best switches in the tier. And, um, yeah. Okay, so the Ender will probably throw a scouting attack and then just, uh, and if it's like a guard bar, he'll probably just, uh, he'll probably double out, yeah. And, I really don't understand this move. Like, honestly, man, if the, even, uh, because unless you're like plus three, unless you've already got Sogol off of your Ice Beam, you're not doing anything to Latio. You're not nothing, nothing. Like even then, you don't one shot it. Well, at the same, so I'm. I think he's probably hoping that Latios will switch, so you can grab some momentum. But I really wouldn't switch anyway because, like, actually, no, I might. I don't know. I'm not doing this but anyways, Lad, um, is Latios switching? Let me just take a look. Because Latios is not switching. Oh, rip, man, free, rip, man, free. So, uh, yeah. Gladius is continuing to Psy Shock, hammering the poor Manaphy. Manaphy is either going to run or scout. I don't know. I think, again, he was expecting a switch in Fear of IC. I don't know why, though. Or maybe he's just fishing for a burn. I really don't know what scout is accomplishing on Gladius. I... Oh, Manaphy with the clutch. That's a survival. Maybe he doesn't have Icy, I think that's, that's the only conclusion, but I really don't know why he was trying to switch into the Latios. He probably was banking on the momentum, but now he doesn't have it. And I don't know why he hasn't doubled into Mega Gardevoir either. Oh! Okay, Latios doesn't want to get killed by that surprise move. He, and now he finishes off Manaphy. Yep, I really don't know what that was. Oh! Okay, he wanted, he wanted a free switch in for Mega Gardevoir. Because again, Mega Gardevoir has got the lower speed until it Mega Evolves, so he's probably going to want to risk that, but even that doesn't have to see Gladius. I mean, Gladius was probably going to run, double back into Bishop, I don't know, or Landorus here, something f faster, but I really don't know what on this team would check Mega Gardevoir. This is, this is going to be interesting, let's see how this plays out. Mega Gardevoir, ooh, that was, that was like, Shock brought the hurt, but Mega Gardevoir brought the hurt harder. Okay, he doesn't want to get faked out. He doesn't he wants Hippo to take the fake out. I think Hippo's gonna die here though. Hippo dies though, that's not that's not gonna be good. It's not gonna be good for Solon because he loses because then he suddenly becomes a lot more vulnerable to just about everything really. And he becomes unless or he could go for X gun and try and sweep here, but I really don't want to do it. Probably just want something to take the fake out. Hippo goes right out, back into Mega Guard, and Mega Guard dies. I, that would probably have been his main point condition, but actually no, honestly. I think against Mega Lobany and Thunderous at half health, you're not you're not sweeping. You, you kinda lost any chance of that. Okay, so Solon's playing the that with Exigo. He needs to get the kill though. He needs to. So Mega Lobony goes for the fake out, grab a little clutch damage. Ah! Oh! And the sandstorm ends. And the Solon puts it right back up, but he stacks it out on, which means here it's all or nothing, all or nothing. He's is he going to XD here, or is he just going to attack? I don't... Oh, he spins. So, you know what, I actually was wrong. He's not... X is not a goalie card. He still has, like, Tornado's team security. Maybe they can do something. I think Tornado's team maybe can do something with the speed, as long as... It doesn't get demolished by Thunderous, but... Oh, he's fighting to keep the rocks up. He's fighting. What a... 
What a legend. What a legend. He's, but now he's not going to remove the rock. This is, yeah. And I think... Hmm, so, uh, the Ender's going with um, Power Up Punch Lopini. Interesting choice. A really good sweeper on offense. Has late game sweeper on offense. Which means you just do... You can do damage and still grab boost. It's kind of like Meteor Mash Metagross from ADV or whatnot. Where you can just grab that clutch attack boost somewhere. Pick up some time, get the attack boost guarantee. And, um, one down. And is Konasi going to do anything? Is Konasi going to do anything? This is a million dollar. No, it's not. So, uh, yeah, Megalop on these swept. That was still that was still the game, though. Like 25 turns. Some interesting strats, some interesting moves, some interesting. Plays, but yeah, overall, good game. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna be uploading a couple more finals games soon, not if not now. And um, yeah, I really hope I can get some more support for the start for the restart of my channel. It's, I hope I hope it's getting huge, but yeah, and actually, it's not really a restart, it's more like um, another next level. I'm just gonna keep that going until. But anyways, yeah, if you like the video, please uh, show your support by and liking the video, yeah. or commenting, and maybe even subscribing to me if you like it. Maybe you like it, some of my other videos, and we'll see when the new direction of the channel goes. But anyways, thank you all for watching, I hope to see you guys soon, and uh, yeah, I'll see you later, I guess. Bye-bye.